So with the Giants loss, the Cowboys clinched the division and the one seed in the playoffs. So with nothing really to play for in their next two games, should they rest their stars like Dak and Zeke? That is the question, one Stephen A. Smith. Well, I definitely think that they should. I think that they should because this is football. Football is a very physical and violent sport. I'm not sitting there and saying that you should give them no action and allow Russ to enter the equation. But in terms of the, 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 the frequent activity that obviously they've been accustomed to playing all season long, I don't think that's something, something that they should be subjected to in the sport of football now that they've clinched the division um, and, you know, in, in the top seed. If you're going to have the top seed, all right, you're the number one seed, and obviously you've already clinched your division title as well. What the hell is there to play for? What you don't want to, you don't, I understand that they're rookies, particularly in the case of a, of a Dak Prescott. And so you want those reps to be something that's there. But at the same time, what you don't want to do is sit there and, and expose somebody to unnecessary risk of injury because this is a sport that is so violent that it's just unnecessary to do that. It has nothing to do with, there's no football reason that I would pick to rest these guys other than a concern for injury because you've got other teams literally fighting for their lives trying to get to that postseason, trying to get that extra dough, trying to get that extra shine, et cetera, et cetera. So if you've already accomplished that goal in a sport as physical and as violent as football, you might need to protect yourself and risk a little rust coming into the equation just to preserve yourself to be 100% healthy. This I'm not is, saying you don't play at all, but you do have to protect yourself. This is not an easy question to answer because it presents itself at the end of every season in the NFL nowadays and, and really always has. But There's especially, nothing that's easy for you. But I, nothing. But <laughs> except for beating you in arguments. But, but especially since the Giants um, and, and the Coughlin oh, season boy. in 07 where the Patriots <laughs> were undefeated and the Giants had the playoff, you know, they, were, they had a playoff berth wrapped up and he decided to play the guys anyway. And the, and, and and I think that indicated something to people. At least it did to me since then. The Dallas Cowboys have been doing things a certain way all year. And except for two games against those Giants, they yeah. have always won. It's worked for them. And so while you're right, Stephen A., I'm not just brushing off the fact that this is a violent, full-contact sport where it's oftentimes foolish to play someone if you don't have to because every play could be the last play of someone's career. That's the nature of the sport. Nevertheless... If you've been doing something a certain way and you've been achieving success all year, the last thing I would want as a Cowboys fan is for anything to change. I would want them to approach every hey single game the exact yeah. same way. Donovan, before yeah. you speak, let me just remind you that that's the same thing for, uh, Max Kellerman said to Bernard Hopkins before his last <laughs> fight. Let's go on. Let's go on. That Let's, go on. That up. Let's go on. Let's go. Hey, on. he slipped. He slipped, Stephen. He slipped He's, and got pushed. Listen, listen, don't make fun of Bernard Hopkins. He's great, even though you have a right to, more so than anybody else. But I'm going to come <laughs> to my boys back here. Leave him alone, D. Leave him alone. He's two years old. What do you want from him? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, you got to make a decision. But let me, let me mm -hmm. add to what you said, now, Max. Back in 2004, when we went to the Super Bowl, we clinched, I believe we clinched by week 10, week 11. And what we did was we played, but we, we sat some players. Now, when I look at the Dallas Cowboys, in a sense, going into a game where they know they already have won the NFC East and they have home field advantage, I think the players that you decide to sit is an Ezekiel Elliott and maybe a Tyron Smith. Now, for Dak Prescott, I think it's important for him to keep this momentum going and maybe play about three series in this particular game. Then you'll see Tony Romo. I think the smart thing for Jason Garrett is to understand what's ahead of him and knowing the age of these players. Now, We've seen Ezekiel Elliott and how many carries that, that he's had thus far at this particular point. It's important that he has an opportunity to give Darren McFadden some carries to kind of kick the rust off just in case you need that backup running back. Uh, and also for the offensive line to keep that cohesiveness and, and also that chemistry to continue to flow. The thing that I look at on the defensive end, who would you sit on defense? And to be honest with you, I wouldn't sit anybody. Maybe Sean Lee. Uh, because I think defensively, they're going to get much more than they think they can handle going into the playoffs because Rob Marinelli does not blitz a lot. So you're going to keep playing these zone defenses and your defensive line and maybe bringing two from the weak, two from the strong 
just to try to apply pressure, and they haven't been that successful with it with the blitz all season. Yeah, they play well as far as in the zone and maybe getting rushed from their front four, but can you do that versus a Green Bay? Can you do that maybe against, you know, teams that continue to run the ball effectively and the play-action game plays such a major part? But I think for Jason Garrett and the Dallas Cowboys, the way that you approach this thing is to continue to get the reps from Dak Prescott to keep his confidence going and keep that momentum going on offense and sit a guy like Ezekiel Elliott. You know what the problem with that to me is, Donovan, that you have a first-round buy. Like, how you're going to have, like, a month between games at a certain point, and especially, I understand what you mean. Look, it's the running back. you got to get other guys involved. I'm not claiming it's so cut and dried. But I really think, especially because they're young players, especially because the margin of error in the NFL is really small, even for the good teams, because it's so physical, at the point of contact, at the line of scrimmage, because their success is based on that offensive line, and then what these special players behind that line, like Zeke and Dak, can do with that. I just wouldn't change anything. I mean, you know, maybe you give a guy, you know, you, you take him out for some, some downs. You're not going to play them quite as much as you would in every other game. But I would still try to win the game to the best of my ability. Absolutely. I would still approach it the way they've approached every game this season because they've had so much success. You don't want to break that, particularly when you yeah, have a first-round yeah, bye. Yeah, you're, you're, you're so bright. Donovan, didn't you hear the brilliance of Max Kellerman? You don't want to break that rhythm. Break that. Right. You don't want to break anything. Go ahead and break your bones, though. It's okay. Right, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, in, in Max's world, go ahead and break your wrist, <laughs> break your elbow, break your neck, you know, break your you, leg. You got to take your risk. Kneecap it out. Oh, go ahead. Don't, don't worry about Worry about the rhythm. Worry about the right. rhythm, Donovan. Right. Don't disrupt your flow, but go out there and break your bones. It's okay. Right. You got to okay take that risk. You Kellerman. got to take it's all right. that risk. Bernard Hopkins, go out there uh, and risk getting your jaw broke. You got to bring okay. it to get it. It's okay. That's right. As James <laughs> Tony said, you got to bring Bring it to get it. I yeah, mean, you got to really middleweights. But that's what I'm talking about, Max. And that's why I say it's important to start a guy like Dak Prescott. Maybe sit Tyron Smith and maybe and Jason Witten. Jason Witten, he deserves a rest. But I think in a sense, it's about chemistry and flow. And when you're going into the playoffs, if you have the momentum and you have that confidence going in, and no matter what situation that you may, may have been in, and they have been in a lot of great situations, two-minute drill at the end, overtime wins. Dak Prescott has done a great job. And I've been hearing a lot of people, rumors on there on the outside, talking about that now all of a sudden Dak Prescott is a check down Charlie, and he's a guy you want to force to throw deep. Did they not see him in the, play, in the uh, preseason throwing the ball deep and completing the things that he can do with the deep ball? But the thing with me with the Dallas Cowboys is can they keep this momentum going into the playoffs? And if they can do that and playing in that NFC Championship at home against a, maybe a team like the Seattle Seahawks where offensively we're still trying to figure out if they can run the football and stay on, on, the, on the field during third down and converting those big, big third and longs, that's going to be a matchup well, you want to see. I, I, I will say this. Donovan swayed me in this regard. You know, you rest some of the guys on offense. You don't have to rest everybody. Some of those guys on defense need to be out there. First of all, their defense has gotten better and better. It needs to improve. And dare I bring this up, Donovan, everybody hasn't been eligible on Dallas's defense. <laughs> so you got to get some guys up in Why there is that to actually Stephen get some reps. Why I mean, is I'm that, not, Stephen A.? I, I, I'm just, I mean, because they couldn't stay off the weed. And that's what really happens. And so we have to make sure that they come back in the mix, Max. They need the reps. They need to get out there. They, they don't need time to puff, puff, and pass. What they need to do is be out on the football field getting those reps in and all of that other stuff. So that's another reason that right. some of them do deserve to rest. Mm -hmm. Others need to get on the court on the field mm. and, and sort of get the chemistry going. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We got it. We got Not it. the chemicals going, the chemistry. Yeah. Not chemicals, yeah. Real chemistry. Uh, I, That's I, all I'm saying. Yeah. That's yeah. all I'm yeah. saying. I was just curious <laughs> about your opinion about this because you haven't gotten to weigh in. Lane Johnson turned out to be important, right? Yeah, really Guys, important. I just wanted yeah. to make sure. Talked about it most of the broadcast. Did you really bring yeah. that back up, Max? I, was just, uh -huh. I, I don't know. I was yeah. wanted to make sure Molly yeah. got yeah. to weigh in. I saw it. I saw it. Yeah, I, I, still don't feel, I still don't feel it was as big of a deal uh, as you say it is. All right. You